Get level here. Today we're gonna be making a Discord server, but you won't because once we're done making the server, I'm gonna share it as a template. All you will have to do is click on a link and it will install the whole server for you. It will include the roles, the permissions, the categories, the text channels, and the voice channels. That being said, make sure you watch the whole thing so that you can know exactly how to customize it for yourself. Also, I plan on making way more videos on Discord, so make sure you're subscribed. Let's get right into it. Okay, buckle up, pay attention, we're gonna go fast. How to create a new server. We're gonna go here and click on the plus, add a server. Server. It's gonna ask us if you want a template or create our own. We're gonna click create our own and we're gonna pick for me and my friend. Club or community gives you extra options, but you can always switch to them later. So just start your server with a couple of people. We're gonna give it a name and a picture. Oh. <laughs> I forgot this was a GIF. <laughs> Okay, so we have our server. It created a couple categories, two of them, and then two, Jesus, and then two channels. This means text channel, this means voice channel. But we're not gonna touch that for now. We're gonna go to the options. You click on the little drop down here. You go to server settings, and we're gonna add some roles. Cool. So default permissions, it's basically the at everyone. It's what we call the white names. And for security reasons, we usually don't want the white names to have anything. Well, clear permissions, click save changes. So now they can't do anything. Basically, they can't see any channels or whatever. We're gonna add our roles. Don't worry, they'll be able to see the rules. So create a new role here. Let's go to display and we're gonna give it a name and we're gonna create it in order of importance or of management. So let's start with our bots because our bots are gonna be able to do whatever. We're just bot. We're gonna give it a color, okay? And I'm gonna make it display it separately from everything else so that people can know, oh, this is a bot. Oh, I'm, I'm talking to a bot right now. So give it permission to view and also to manage pretty much everything save changes and create another role. This one is gonna be your mods, your human mods. Custom color, you can decide if you wanna separate it. I don't like to do that. Permissions, pretty much everything except actually manage the server or administrator. So let them view, create, manage, participate, uh, maybe not webhooks, invite, mention, and save. Finally, we're gonna have our VIPs. Again, in order of importance, VIP save and go to permissions and for this one you don't want them to really manage anything we're gonna let them mostly view and participate and use special things like reactions external emojis external stickers and all that we're also gonna put create expressions and basically that allows members to add emotes to the server we're not gonna give audit log change their own nickname embed links attach files add reactions use external emojis external stickers read message history and boom then finally we have the bottom role which is the pleb and that's gonna be your typical regular for you to decide exactly which permissions they have but you usually want them to be able to view all the channels and also talk in them <laughs> Usually I would not give a lot of permission, but since we have this kind of firewall of the everyone role not having anything, this basically means that the plebs are people who are still vetted. They're still important people, basically. That being said, there are some annoying stuff that they can't do. I put it so that they can't use external stickers, mention everyone, send text-to-speech messages, voice messages, or use external sounds in the soundboard. You can always change that. All right, just like that, we have our roles. So now it's time to create our channels. So we're gonna have categories and then text channels and voice channels. Keep in mind that when it comes to the roles and permissions, you can actually add them to a category and then sync every channel in that category to that. We will do that with the VIP category. So the way you create channels is right clicking and then create channel. You can pick if it's a text or if it's a voice. Voice channels allows you to put caps and also spaces and text channel don't allow you to do that. If I go to type caps here, it's gonna be lowercase and space is gonna be a dash. That being said, let's create our categories and we're gonna use emojis to basically make it visually sorted. <laughs> Okay, so for categories, we have info. This is where we're gonna have the rules, the announcements, basically important stuff that members need to know. General is where we're gonna have the talking, the pictures, the videos, the memes. Games is if you wanna have games that are integrated through bots in your server. There are bots that allow you to play Pokemon in the server to do trivia and all sorts of cool stuff. The bots category is to basically use commands to ask the bot stuff. 
you can have a leveling system. The more you speak in the server, the more points you gather and people can check their levels in that channel, in that category. If you have a music bot, people will be able to type their commands in that channel inside this category. And also logs, which is basically a private channel where your bot will tell you exactly which mod has taken which action in the server. And finally, if you want a welcome channel where Discord will tell you when people join, when people leave, depending on the, you can have this through the bot or you can use Discord directly to do that. Finally, we will have a VIP section for VIP voice and VIP text, and then voice for people who just wanna chill together. So I'm gonna be adding the channels and I'll see you in a bit. So right click to add, create channel once again, text, voice, let's do this. All right, so we have a well-populated server. One thing I've been doing lately is to have a text and voice channel all the way to the top. And those are dedicated for the main event. If you have something big and you really want everyone to participate, you usually want to run it here. So that way, when people click on the server, they can immediately see that people are participating in some sort of activity. Of course, if you don't plan on doing activities, you can delete that. But that's the event text in the main event. Under info, we have rules, announcement, and we're gonna make sure that everyone can see the rules. So we're gonna right click here, edit channel, permissions and then everyone we want them to be able to view the channel and we want them to see the channel history read message history okay so someone joins they don't have any role they'll be able to read the rules maybe this is where you also want them to pick the role that they want or do things to get the role anyways general we're gonna have chat so regular blah blah hi how are you pictures videos music as a topic games memes for games pokemon there's the poke 2 bot that you can use that will be in another video trivia if you want a trivia bot or whatever you want here if your server is going to be for a particular niche you can repurpose this whole category for it, whatever that niche is free is for bots that will tell you when games are free on the epic store for example under bots we have two channels that only you and your mods will be able to see it's the logs so whenever a mod changes something your bot can actually tell you that in here arrivals is the new people you can decide to actually make this public if you want to but if you're starting out you can let people do that in the main chat basically levels for the level system people can type hey exclamation mark level tell me what level i am music if you have a music bot they can spam the commands here now vip is kind of special because we actually want the other roles to see it but we don't want them to be able to speak in it unless they are vip so let's right click on the category click edit category and go to permissions and then here for everyone we're not going to change anything but we're going to click on the little plus here and we do want to let the mods basically do their thing so nothing changes here we just want the plebs to be able to view the channel they can't send messages they can't, they can't send messages in threads they can't add reactions definitely not use stickers and they can't read the message history now we do have a voice channel in there so we want to make sure that they can't connect and if they can't connect, then they can't speak, they can't stream, and uh, that should be it. Safe changes, okay? And if you wanna know how I made it so that those two channels here will only be visible by you and your mods, I right click on it, you go to edit channel, you go to permission, and you're gonna see a little thing that says private channel here. And private channel basically hides the channel from everyone, and then it tells you, hey, are there specific members that you want to be able to see it? Our bot has the admin role, so the bot is gonna be able to see it automatically. You are the admin, so you're gonna be able to see it. I just added mods as a role here and that's it. Now this seems like a lot, but actually the cool thing here is that you can fold the categories that you're not interested in and it still gives you a pretty cool looking server right there. The best way to check if your permissions are working is to go in your server settings, go to roles, click on the little dots and click view server as role. Now, if I was a pleb, what would I be able to see? I'm going to click and it says up top here, you are viewing this server as one role and I can see what role it is. So if I'm a pleb, I should be able to see the rules, the announcements, basically everything. We can see that the VIP lounge is locked for me in the VIP text, it's cool. And I just realized that I should probably do that <laughs> for the rules and announcement also. We don't want the VIPs and definitely not the plebs to be able to talk in that. We can just change the permissions and the categories. I should be able to join the voices and I cannot see the two private channels in the bots category. All right, let's disable this. Right click on the info category edit category permission on send messages for everyone who want to click no either way the everyone rule will not be able to see this channel technically okay now any channel that is not the rules channel they won't be able to type in it but the rules have specific permission which is not synced with the category and turn off send messages for everyone 
boom. And just like that, now if I go back, server settings, roles, pleb, view server as role. I do not have permission to speak here nor here. And every new channel that I add here will have the same permission. All right, time to turn this into a template. I'm gonna go in server settings also. We're gonna find server template. We're gonna call it nice discord server by L, not gazelle level. <laughs> We're gonna generate the template and just like that, I can even preview it. And this is what it will look like. And you did it. Thank you so much for watching. Link will be in the description. Just click on it, create your new server. And again, make sure you subscribe because I'm gonna cover every single step to having a Discord server and growing it and managing it. So stay tuned. Go out there, make me proud, get level, out.